The views and opinions expressed by Pete Motsley and Poophead of the Week do not represent the views of the staff and DJs of 89X, WLNX FM. And now the poop quote of the day, brought to you by Dick Cabot. If your parents never had children, chances are you won't either. I will accuse myself of over-exaggerating details during Poophead of the Week for the purpose of painting a rosy picture to make valid points. That's only because the things I talk about are so out of touch with my feelings, and maybe yours also, that they deserve to be bashed. But I can't over-exaggerate this week, because this poopette is so vague and unexplainable and perverted and controversial that I can't give you brief detail without a little tender love and censorship. So I'll tell you the story about how this week's poopette emerged and work from there. Wednesday night I had a chat with a good friend of mine and loyal listener to this show. She lives in Newton, a town of about 3,000 people. It's about two hours southeast of Lincoln. We got into a conversation about how when you move from northern Illinois to in between central and mid-south Illinois, you get drawn into a lot of attention to stereotypes, and in particular the age-old battle between blacks and whites. And my friend warned me when and if I do travel down to Newton to disregard any of the possible racial slurs being spouted out by people. She says the townspeople aren't intending to sound like haters and discriminators. Then she brought up a term so full of bad implications, but its actual meaning is claimed to be meant with good intent. Yeah, so like if I said this word on the air, there would be nothing wrong with it because we are all entitled to freedom of speech. I would get kicked off the air in a snap of a finger. I can't even say this word backwards. It's like a palindrome. To give you a clue, this word rhymes with the following terms. Finger licking, wicker kitchen, bigger blitzen, Richard Nitson, or the great Canadian actor Gordon Pinson. Much to my surprise, the meaning of this term is not when an African-American drives a limo the size of a monster truck. It is when you went about doing something in an unorthodox way. Doing something unorthodox and it has to be black, seriously. To anyone else in Newton other than my friend who's listening this moment, this is your redneck norm. Is Mark Twain alive and living in the world's fastest pop machine? When one out of every 20 teenage girls get pregnant in the town and you attempt to look at this in a humorous light... Would you actually use this word in a public setting and not worry about having a more than 50% chance of getting punched in your throat? Even worse, I'm yelling at you for associating African Americans with doing everyday household crap out of sync, and yet I have a smile on my face as if to say, damn, why is this slightly offensive, but also slightly amusing to me? Maybe because 98.7% of your population is white. Michael Richards is still looking for a place to hide. Lord, I apologize for that there, and be with the pygmies in New Guinea and the 1.3% of minorities in Newton, Illinois. Amen. Poop town of the week.